Pulitzer Prize winning photographer Vincent LaFerre is no stranger to heights. He spent the last year capturing nighttime images of cities around the world. And his high altitude aerial photos taken while harnessed in a helicopter are part of a series. They are now the subject of his new book called Air. Vincent LaFerre, good morning. Good morning to you. So what was the idea behind this? This kind of happened very naturally. This was an editorial assignment about the psychology of coincidence. And I thought of brain synapses and computer chips. Mm. And I offered to go up at a really high altitude at night. And at first, the magazine wasn't really interested. They kept saying, do you have any examples of this? And I said, I don't think it's ever been done before. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of grew organically from there into this book, into a series that people reacted to in such a magical way, in such a genuine way. Mm -hmm. I just kind of felt like I had to keep doing it. And what do you think is the magic? I think you feel the energy off the city. Yeah. I think when you're in the middle of Fifth Avenue, you feel pretty small and insignificant. You see all of our differences, but when you're up there, the world feels much smaller, feels much more within reach, and somehow I think you feel more connected, ironically. You said 5,000 feet up is, is the lowest you go. Yes. And only at night. Yeah. Because? Because it's, I think this is about the lights. It's about you know, the changing times right now. A lot of these cities are changing their grid patterns to more LED lighting that are bluer, and you can see the different tones yeah. of the photographs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So had this been done two or three years ago, first of all, the cameras couldn't have done it, and the cities would have looked all yellow. And maybe in five years, they'll be all blue. Yeah. So it's kind of the perfect storm right now to do it. How did you prepare? Uh, I've been doing this for 25 years and photographing aerials for about 10 years, so it was relatively routine. The only thing that wasn't routine was the height. Yeah, and a camera. Uh, Canon 5DS and 1DX. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you're literally hanging out of the helicopter. This yeah. is from a guy who said, I get nervous on an escalator. Yeah, if I can see anything beneath my hips <laughs> yeah. and I go to the side, I feel really nervous. I feel much more uncomfortable on a commercial airliner. But in a helicopter, it's like a, a magic flying carpet. It's really relaxing. It, it wasn't without relaxing. incident, though, right? You had quite, a, quite an experience in Las yeah. Vegas. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I, I experienced hypoxia for the first time. We what went is up to. That? Point, lack of oxygen to the brain okay. uh, when you're that high for that long. Okay. Uh, and also both my legs fell asleep and I had to go to 12,000 feet and open that door in pitch blackness because Las Vegas is obviously in the middle of a desert. And it's one thing just prop both your legs out onto the skids and have faith in that equipment to hold you in. Oh, yeah. You've covered wars and natural disasters and lots of other things. Yes. But this was more, what, challenging, more... Personal and intimate and it felt like a body of work that I was just naturally called to do. Uh, this wasn't part of a plan. I direct commercials for the past seven years. Mm. Um, and this kind of brought me back into my original love of photography and just discovery. And will it change your life? It's changed my life in that it's allowed me to just touch back with that, that thing that got me started when I was 15 years old, which is the love of capturing an image I'd never seen before. But you also said hanging out of a helicopter, I love this, is like, 100,000 pieces of metal trying to shake itself loose from one another. That's a pretty apt description, it, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's not the most stable platform. And it's a challenging for you because you're trying to get a steady shot, too, while We're absolutely doing that. pushing the technical limits of what you can do. We're using gyroscopes, we're using slow shutter speeds, the best lenses in the world. We're really pushing the limits there. Mm -hmm. Favorite cities? Uh, is it, is it that would a fair be question? New York City, obviously. Ah, this is my home. Yeah. You know, I worked in the New York Times for seven years and as a staff photographer, and then London and Barcelona, for sure. What surprised you? Discovery. I mean, it's 2015. Everyone has a camera on their phone. It's really hard to find an image that no one's seen before. Mm -hmm. And the pilots and myself, had we all over the world, our jaws would drop. And we would say, wow, I've actually never seen this. And that's a rare, I'm getting goosebumps right now, because mm -hmm. you really rarely get to discover something anymore. And this really felt special. I mean, it was just mind-blowing. You can feel your passion. Yeah. NASA says this, that your images are the next best things to being in orbit. Wow, I'll, Vincent. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll probably never get up there. This is as high as I'll get. It's about two to three kilometers up when you think about it. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, you really feel the energy coming off the city, and you feel, you know, yeah. that intimacy and more connected with yeah. others. It is a kind of experience that the astronauts had, yeah. in part. I mean, theirs was yeah. a much greater sort of, of seeing the whole planet. But, yes. But it is a kin to that. But you take us there. It should be a little bigger, I think. It's called Air, Vincent LaFerre. We thank you. Thank you thank very you. much. Air is on sale right now wherever you like to buy your books.